What's going on YouTube, GSNoright here, so in today's video I have some interesting news about iOS 16 and jailbreaking. Well it turns out that TFP0 has been achieved on iOS 16. For those of you who are unaware, iOS 16 is currently in beta and while you can get it through various means, it's not recommended at the moment since it's in very early beta. iOS 16 is basically beta 3 at the moment, which is okay but it's definitely buggy. Anyways, a couple of days ago this developer posted this quote, bugged game TFP0 on iPhone OS, which is basically iOS, 16.0 succeeded. And they posted this picture here, which shows that their device has restarted, and then this panic logging here and of course they show the fact that they do have PID 0 over there. Now I have no idea how useful this could be for jailbreak purposes because task for PID 0 or task for the kernel process hasn't been a thing in a lot of time. But anyways if you saw this because this has circulated for a couple of days now it's actually important not to update iOS 16 thinking that it can be jailbroken because it can't for the moment. Even if this TFP 0 bug on iOS 16 turns out to be useful the developers said they are not going to publish it. They said, quote, it's only informative. With this report, a security researcher can deduce from which process I crashed a kernel. I won't give more information. And no, I won't make a jailbreak or publish something. All my research are private only. So while they have achieved something on iOS 16, they're not going to release it. Now they did confirm the fact that the bug is still present on the latest beta of iOS 16, which is beta 3 over here, as you can see this one over here. So the bug is still there, they're still able to do it, but they're not going to release this anytime soon. However, somebody else might be able to find this bug, but that does not guarantee any jailbreak on iOS 16 for the moment. While it could be usable for jailbreak purposes, it's still not a good idea to to tell people to update the iOS 16 and so on, especially since we're going to get a jailbreak for iOS 15 from Torin. Yes, it's still in the works. And also, especially since the bug by Linus Hensley, the Core Trust bug that is so powerful and gave us a lot of things, including permanently signed jailbreak applications, this bug does not work on iOS 16. And I'm sure that this is real because this developer is a legitimate security researcher in the community, but we don't know exactly if this can indeed be used for a jailbreak or how much of it can be used for a jailbreak so for the moment it's best not to update the iOS 16 beta. Wait for it to at least be the final release because by then we should have a snapshot on the security of iOS 16 on how hard it is compared to iOS 15. So for now I would definitely advise you to stay on iOS 15 like 15.1.1, 15.0, 15.2, 15.3 and so on. Do not update iOS 16 just yet. This bug which is actually quite important in the community does not work with iOS 16. And even if this TFP0 turns out to be useful, they said they're not going to release it for the moment. So while it's likely somebody else will find this bug in the future, you shouldn't rely on that. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.